Hi folks and welcome to day four of my recovery. Um, <clears throat> you'll have to excuse me because my throat is still sore and I'm having a little bit of trouble speaking. A lot of people will say what a good thing that is, but we won't go into that. Um, right, we had a reasonably peaceful weekend, restful, except that um, I haven't been able to swallow even my oral painkillers now. Can't get them down at all. My lips have cracked which again makes it difficult to take them because they're very salty and they sting all in my mouth and all around my lips so we've resulted to taking just the Oromorph and little bits of that at a time trying to just get it down and little bits of ice cold water when I can after the Oromorph but the Oromorph don't seem to last very long now so today went to Slimming World this morning got quite a shock at Slimming World I actually lost nearly a stone in weight in fact it was 13 and a half pounds so that, that was a bit of a shocker. I thought I'd have lost some weight, but I didn't expect to have lost so much. Anyway, had lots of cuddles and people coming up and having a word with me today at Swimming World. Because we stayed today, because we were in no hurry, because we had to um, go to the hospital for half past two. So we had plenty of time to stay and chat to people, so that was nice today. Although, my voice kept disappearing on me. Um, yeah, so we went home for a quick sandwich for night and take some more or more for me and a bit more, get some more iced water that we could take with us. So we called out to the hospital and they said that there should be a prescription in the main pharmacy for us. So we went there, waited the obligatory half an hour, nothing happened. So we went up to the desk and sort of asked her what's happening and she said, well, there's nothing here for you. And we said, well, the plan for that was that her co Carol's colleagues today would put a prescription in so it would be ready for us just to pick up. Well. That obviously, for some reason, didn't happen. So she said, well, have this back. She said, and I'll chase it up. And I, we said, well, we can't stay because um, we got an appointment to go and keep. So we gave it all back to her and said, well, we'll come back later. So we went to this C29, which is up a lift and down a couple of corridors it's quite a trek but we got there and we sat there in the waiting room and all of a sudden there was Mrs Humphreys and off we went opened the door and there's all these people in there how many people do you reckon was in there? about five five people? I thought it was more like six might have been six anyway we did say about the prescription, so yeah, we thought best not to um, give you that until we'd actually seen you and seen you how it was going. Well, we told her that it's not going too well, and I couldn't swallow, couldn't drink anything, and I haven't drunk a huge amount of water. Well, this apparently isn't good for my kidneys, which we knew that. Anyway. <coughs> A little voice up and come up from the corner saying, do you think it's best if we have her in? I said, well, I'll tell you for now, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going in the hospital for a start. So, anyway, that shut her up. So, they said, well, 
we'll take your rocks and see how all that's doing. That's me blood pressure, me temperature, me heart and anything else, that sort of thing. But that was fine. They had no problems with that at all. Everything was working tickety boo boo. So then they said, well, we need some blood tests. Hence the evidence. So they sent me off down to B9. B9 for bloods. And we had to get them a bit sharpish because they shy it for. So off we went. We did manage to get there, didn't we, before form. We got our number. It took a while for us to get seen, but we did get seen. So then we had to go from there back up the C29 to see our pack of ladies again. Well, there weren't so many this time because a few of them had gone home. Uh, so they left me a bag full of um, drinks that are supposed to give you everything you need. I haven't really had a good look at them, but I will do when I get home. They gave me some... Sorry darling, I've forgotten the name of the patch. Fentanyl. Fentanyl patch. And it's like a patch with morphine that just slowly drips into your system. So they give me a load of them to go with the Aura Morph for the next it takes 12 hours for this stuff to get in your system anyway so they want to see how that does before they sort of go rushing in to do anything else so yeah we got all that sorted out we went back down to the chemist to get the patches and what have you so that took us another half an hour didn't it mm -hmm. So the time is now, I don't know, 20 to 6. 20 to 6. And we've been in the hospital since half past 2. So we're going home now. <laughs> so it's been quite a long, stressful, hectic day. All I want to do now is go to sleep. Try and get some more water down me. So that's my day today so i hope you enjoyed my little tale of woe i'm sorry it's been so miserable hopefully next time i give you some better news anyway thank you for listening and thank you for watching and i will keep you updated as much as i can bye for now everybody